Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grim, and you must have one question on your mind. Why the hell is there footage of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 playing in the background? Well, ladies and gentlemen, to answer your question, it is very simple. I recently played the beta for Modern Warfare 2 this previous weekend, and so I decided to give my thoughts, my two cents on the, uh, on the, on the game, because honest to God, I, you know, the truth is I kind of like Call of Duty. Not in recent years, because a lot of the recent games have been kind of, well, not good. So, I thought, why not check out and see how Modern Warfare 2 is going to play out, right? I played the multiplayer beta this previous weekend, and so, here I am. Now, I want people to understand, I was playing this on the PC, right? So, some of the things I went through, some of the hoops I went through, maybe console users might not know about, might not experience this, or they might have it worse off. However, the technical side of things was was disappointing to say the least. You know, you had the I had to delete stuff in the main files to and then re-verify them on Steam to get the game to function because of the update problem. Then I had to go through a whole updating my game drivers to a certain extent that I've never had to do to this degree. Like maybe, like I said, other games have had to do it this way, but for me, in the past in the year and a half, two years that I've almost had this computer that I own never really had to deal with this before so it was strange um other than that you know those were the only real technical issues were they annoying yeah were they such an impediment that it takes away from the experience of the game not really i had a good laugh with a buddy a couple buddies of mine while we were you know who were helping me figure this out um so there's that now as for the game itself i thought it was decent I thought it was a decent multiplayer experience. Are there things about the game that are annoying? Yes. Are there things about the game that are good? Yes. I'm going to start with the negatives because this is YouTube. Right? <laughs> and because I'm, I'm sure you guys want to hear more about the issues with the game. So you know what you know what to expect when the, uh, when the game does release. Because the expectation is... The game is less than a month out. Can they fix all these issues before release date? Some of it, I can see it being fixed or tweaked. Some of it, I cannot. So, I'm going to start with the negatives. Number one, the footsteps are way too damn loud. Like, it's absurdly loud. And I know they've already commented on this and they're going to tweak that. So, now, this was from the previous weekend I was hearing this from. Even this weekend, I was like, the footsteps are still a little loud. I'm not even going to lie. And I wear headphones and I was able to like, it was almost impossible to not hear somebody with a foot, hear the footsteps of somebody and not turn around and think that was like a bad guy, uh, one of the enemy players. And that is another thing I will comment on, right? The footsteps. The other problem is, is the, for some reason, I don't understand Infinity Ward's idea here. In previous Call of Duties, you always had like a like the player would pop up with like especially if you aim at them or look at them they have their name tag in red or something to that effect just like your teammate would be in blue in this game you know your teammates have not only the blue theme and you can see them all throughout the map even through buildings right even through walls so you know they're in that general direction they have a blue circle above them enemy players don't have that and you might think well you know that might make it easier for you to know who's a bad guy and who's not a bad guy the problem I have with that idea is that sometimes the blue circle doesn't pop, the blue doesn't pop up for the your teammate. So sometimes when you're looking at a teammate, you don't realize it's your teammate until you start shooting at them and you realize it's a, it's one of your guys. You're like fuck, right? And so that was kind of annoying. I got used to it, but it was definitely an annoying experience as time went on. You know, you have like I said, so you have. The footsteps, you have the lack of, you know, figuring out who's who at times. The other thing is, I will say, the spawning. Oh my god, the spawns are... I think this might be some of the worst spawns I've ever seen. It was really bad. There was at one point, I don't have footage of this because I didn't, I wasn't recording at the time. But some of the footage I kept, there was, I didn't capture this. But at one time, when I was on one of the maps, I forget which map this was. I think it was either Farm 18 or one of... The, I don't remember the name of the map, right? 
where I legitimately went around a corner and the guy spawned like two feet in front of me. Or I think he was either on top of me or two feet away from me. It was the funniest thing because he was instantly killed by me. But it was also probably the saddest thing because he was probably that guy that he or she was probably mad as hell that they got killed like that. Right? And like I said, the spawning is the worst I've seen it. This is probably some of the worst spawning I've seen for a Call of Duty. So that is something that definitely needs to get fixed and tweaked because my God, that I can already tell you that's going to lead to a lot of people being frustrated and pissing all over Infinity Ward for that. So you have the spawning, you have the footsteps, you have the lack of, you know, identification on the field. Now I have to talk about the perks. I'm not going to lie. My, my whole opinion on the perk thing they did was it's just meh. I honest to God don't understand where they or where they got the idea to change the perk system to this degree. It's I don't know how to feel about it because it's just there. Like it doesn't have the impact you think it would. Right. Um, you know, some of it, like I said, you have your you have some of the bog standard perks that we're all we're all used to. But then they threw in the ultimate perk and the bonus. Like these per these just kind of go eh to me. I don't like I barely noticed they're in like they didn't really influence the game to any serious degree. Right? And so I have to ask the question of did they think these perks would make that big of a difference in the middle of a game? And sometimes the truth is when you actually got your hands on these perks, it was probably towards the end of the game already. Now you know i've talked about the perks i've talked about the technical side of things i've talked about you know all those problems are there any more issues i had with the beta personally um the time to kill was okay i there were times where it did it did feel like you know you got killed like within a few shots right but it's call of duty it's known for being a twitch shooter that also does bring up something um there's a very there was an infamous clip going around i think from the previous weekend the previous beta weekend or so at some point where there was a really infamous clip where the guy was the person who was playing it was doing all of these crazy movements and killing people within like it was some of the craziest twitch movement some people had ever seen and so honest to god i didn't see that and honest the truth is people have to understand something i think the people who were commentating that don't haven't really seen call of duty in recent years for me i kind of looked at that and went not everybody's can do that like i for me throughout the you know almost 20 hours of, of time that i spent in the game i didn't really see anybody come close to doing that right there were some people who were able to use the you know the fast sprint you know and be able to quickly aim down and whatnot but they probably had the perks and whatnot and the um some of the attachments from the gunsmithing that allowed them to get to that point but overall, everybody seemed okay in the movement. Now, there was nothing absurd, right? Yeah, the sliding, I can see it. You know, sliding has been is always been abused. I think in most fucking FPS shooters, when, you know, there is sliding, it tends to be abused to a certain extent. Um, especially if you know how to use it in a fight. So, those are a lot of my problems with the thing. I know there will be, you know, like I said, some people might comment on the minimap situation, Right? right because in previous games where if you shot some if you shot with um without a suppressor you tended to give away your position that isn't a thing anymore with the mini map um if your teammate shoot you definitely see like a little like a sound symbol on your teammate on your on the teammate on your teammate in the mini map that will give them away so you know they're shooting at something and i guess it's the whole trying to do the whole follow the red dot bs that they've spewed out for years now. it's like I, I want to ask Infinity Ward. The one about the previous Call of Duties, BO, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, you know, um, even Modern Warfare 3. It's like, there. that's, you know, for a lot of people, that is considered the, the golden years of Call of Duty for a lot of people. Those games had that. There were, nobody complained back then. And if they did, they were very much a minority, right? And so when you think, so when you think about the mini map, it's like I said, it's still there, right? They didn't take away, take it away completely. Like they took it away in uh, 2019. It's still there. And so 
I just look at the thing and I go, well, do I like this or do I not like it? I think I'm kind of meh on the whole situation. It's like the it's like the it's like the perk system. I don't see the point of why it got changed, and what they did change to what they did do, what they did do to change it. They didn't really do much. Didn't have a big of big enough of an impact as I imagined Infinity Ward expected. It was more just kind of in the background and kind of annoying at times than really helpful. Now. I know I've been mostly negative, right? But it's only because I'm giving a tough love. Because other than that, I liked the gunplay. The movement, despite what I said about the sliding, other than that, the the other movement was fine, right? Uh, I like the addition with... Because, again, I don't know if this is a recent addition to Call of Duty. I, you know, I will be frank. I haven't played a Call of Duty since about world war ii and i that wasn't even my copy of world war ii i was playing it with a with a family member that owned it so that was the last real call of duty i played in any capacity so and you know i like the whole being able to you know when you throw either a tactical or a lethal you can aim it and you can see the trajectory so you could literally bounce you know into buildings that you know is probably gonna be somebody there right especially if you have a frag or a flash flashbang you, you get some you can aim it into a particular way right i like that um now i do have to talk about the maps this is not ne necessarily a negative or a positive either it's some maps are okay some maps are not the thing that will probably i think the maps will come to annoy people more often than, more often than you get a positive experience out of it because some of the maps you can you know where people are going to go you you're going to learn where people are going to go and you're going to be able to easily ambush these people on the other team and you will know where to throw your you know you know the uh the proximity based uh items that you have whether it's your stun grenade the electric grenade that's uh reminiscent of the uh of bo2 where it throws the electric and it does make you fire so it'll throw it'll pretty much give you away right so those kind of items if you know where to place them you will get people a lot of the time so it's it's odd the maps are definitely how shall i say like i said they're just kind of a like some of them i like i said i think depending on how well your match is going will dictate how much you like the maps i think that's always it if you perform well on like farm 18 you, you're gonna like farm 18 i was i had good games on farm 18 i had bad games on farm 18 so now that's that's generally have everything i have to say on the beta now i tried out invasion a little bit and i tried out the uh the big team uh the, the 32 32 to 64 they were both okay i'm not gonna say i'm i will say this much about them they're okay i know it's their attempt to kind of take the the what's it called from battlefield i forget i forget what's it called the uh conquest there you go conquest it's their attempt at uh, replicating the big you know the big team play of those games of, of the battlefield franchise it's i don't know if it's any better this time around i think it might be on it might go through the same growing pains and if it might get the same criticism that it got levied in uh 2019 in all the truth 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 be told and it's kind of sad that triple a studios can't replicate what indie studios would be able to do with like uh with some of the world war ii ones on steam so i don't know that's a little disappointing for me at least those are most of my thoughts on the beta for uh you know modern warfare 2 overall i don't think it's like i said i think it's okay it has its highs it has its lows its lows are a little low that it's gonna infinity ward is definitely gonna have to fix some of these issues but given that the game is we're about a month out from the game being released how much of this can be tweaked and fixed as you know time goes on we're gonna find out but the reality is i genuinely believe what you played in the beta is what you're gonna get and we've seen this time and time again with so many other games that do betas more often than not what you play in the beta is what you're gonna have to expect so people had issues with the spawning that's what it's probably gonna be the spawning is gonna be like on release date 
if you had issues with the movement that's what the movement's going to be like on a release date and if you had any issues with the maps well those are the maps those are just a few of the maps um like i said will i buy the game on release date no i'm gonna wait a few days see how people think about this game right now i know i don't typically do these type of videos these will be every a blue a once in every blue moon type of video simply because i like i used to like call of duty that's why i'm doing this because i genuinely i genuinely looked at this and went this might be something i might play myself but i'm gonna need to wait and see what a couple people that i typically watch for call of duty stuff every who i watch seldomly these days what they think i still value what they think because again these are guys who are from the olden days of call of duty you know so again those are my thoughts on the beta let me know what you guys think i know this is typically not you know a video game uh, i don't mean video game this is not a movie this is not a tv show this is not any of those kind of things but i just wanted to kind of you know share my thoughts on this because i i thought well i played the beta people are probably curious who probably didn't have time to play the beta or as to what's going on and so here are my thoughts take it or leave it you know leave a like comment what you guys think if you guys played the beta let me know what you what you guys think of it and hopefully See you guys next time.